Rides and explosions. Computer. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busy music guy, nerdy dude. It's time for an album review, but before we do that, there are a couple things that I want to mention. Number one, Fergus and Geronimo have dropped an MP3 from their upcoming album, Unlearn. Download that over at theneedledrop.com. If you're on YouTube watching this, there should be a link down there in the D-Box. And finally, before we get into the review, I guess some of you yesterday did not like how I tried treated Cal. Well, I'm sorry. Cal! I was feeling really bad about how I treated you yesterday, so I got you this. Oh gosh! My very own Frisbee! I hate Cal Chester. Alright, on yesterday's video I gave a shout out to an album that you can grab on a website in the D-Box via a pay-what-you-want basis. And I gave so much ear time to this album that day, I was compelled to make a review. Kids and Explosions is the sample, mashup, smash-up project of Josh Raskin. He's a Toronto dude and also the director of a fantastic animated short called I Met the Walrus. Uh, link right there. Click it. Watch that thing. It's really great. Well, not directing, but pulling songs apart and putting them back together is this guy's latest effort in causing a ruckus, and easily the album sh computer does that. If you're into girl talk or Super Mash Brothers or the hood internet, what goes on here should not be too alien to you. However, this interests me far much more than any of the new stuff those guys have put out. Yeah, I said it. I said that. I said that thing. I love what those guys do, but these days it's really hard for me to see them as anything more than, like, DJs on steroids. Just take one sample, lay it on top of another sample, play it out, lay it on top of another sample, play it out, lay it on top of another sample, and play it out. Don't get me wrong, it was mind-blowing in 2008, and we needed guys like Girl Talk and Steinsky to get here, but this brings it to a whole new level for me. I know there are artists on the illegal art label who are just as abusive with their edits, but this is what's kind of got my ear right now. Everything on Shit Computer gets cut up with the care of a world-class surgeon, and it all adds up not just rhythmically, but melodically, adding Destiny's Child together with Sigur Ross, The Walkman with The Beach Boys, White Stripes against Blur, Otis Redding against Bruce Springsteen. And what's funny is that Raskin has said that he's done no pitch shifting at all for this album, and it sounds like it. It sounds like everything has been put together and the chips just fell where they did. To me, it's not that surprising. We're all subject to the same 12 notes in the chromatic scale, and humanity has been creating music for thousands of years. We were bound to have some overlap. Now, I'm loving this thing. However, I don't think a lot of people will because the amount of editing here, it sputters, it buzzes, it glitches, it really borders on pure wankery a lot of the time. Just imagine this as being a little bit like Steve Vai guitar soloing in your face for about 50 minutes. And there are points where it gets a little noisy too, a lot like Girl Talk's very, very early stuff, like Secret Diary. There's hardly a sample on here or an audio piece that doesn't get chopped up into fine little tiny pieces and then turned over onto its head. It's quite membrane. He's got a flow, flow, dropping names, scene when I Ouch. And I'll admit, there are moments here where listening to the album is almost like listening to a CD skip, and you would just wish it would freaking play. And there are some people who I know will feel that bringing a Drake song anywhere near a Dusty Springfield song is blasphemy, and editing rap verses down to pure gibberish is pretty blasphemous as well. But for me, this is just some great sound manipulation. I don't like it for the same reasons I like Girl Talk. I like it for the same reasons I like that new books album, The Way Out. It's a sound collage with tons of just little bits of voice, of noise, of whatever, just flying past your eardrums at a neck breaking pace. Pop music just happens to be kids and explosions weapon of choice. That's all. 
Now there's a range of emotion here, some very beautiful moments, some very funny moments as well, very creative editing, and it's really cohesive and thematic in the way it handles itself. Slow Song is a very slow, pretty track. Girls consists mostly of female vocals. Swears is loaded with swears. Plus, it's a record that I can listen to over and over and over and get more out of it each time I revisit, and I love that kind of stuff. I'm feeling a strong 8, if not a light 9 on this thing. It's fantastic. Uh, the best mashup album I've heard all year, honestly. Give a listen to it. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? and why, and what do you think of sample-based music? What do you think of this in regards to sample-based music? Is this a furtherance of that idea, or is it an abuse of that idea? Anthony Fantano, Kids in Explosions, forever.